Hey guys, how's it going? Says back again with episode number 5 of the Atletico Madrid career mode here on Xbox One. This is rounding out our first week with this new series on Chesnoy Gaming Channel. Now, uh, of course, you guys have been showing this series some amazing support, and I cannot thank you enough for that. So if you could drop this video a like, and if we can hit 150 again, I'd be forever, forever grateful. But we're into the La Liga games for the first time. It's time to get our teeth stuck into domestic competitions. Of course, in the previous episode, we unfortunately picked up a defeat over the course of two legs against Barcelona in the Spanish Super Cup, 5-4 on aggregate. So I wanted to, uh, to get my first team back in action next. Of course, we rested them for the second leg because this game against Sevilla away from home was just around the corner and well welcome to La Liga Ches it's an absolutely horrific mistake from defence and goalkeeper alike now I know I gave Thibaut Quarter an absolute roasting uh, numerous times in the Chelsea career mode but I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt here I, uh, I think it was my fault with the defender just getting too involved that I should have just left it to the goalkeeper and uh, brought him out rather than trying to tackle with two defenders and uh, it, uh, it just kind of rebounded free for Rakitic to put the ball into the back of the net so we go to a poor start 1-0 down after 2 minutes but just 10 minutes later Miranda rises like an absolute salmon from the corner from Koke and we're back on level terms just 15 minutes into our opening La Liga fixture so that was definitely what we wanted after going 1-0 down so early on was to get back on level terms as soon as possible and uh, we're going to try and get ourselves in front here David Villa breaks in really really nicely from the left hand side but unfortunately can't quite dig it out from underneath his feet enough to find that far top corner and it's a simple simple save but we're just before half time now into stoppage time and Rakitic is in behind again but this time Thibaut Courtois pulls out a fantastic save down low with his legs you'll see from the replay actually went under his hands hit him on the thigh as he goes down that's a really good Good save and a fantastic goalkeeper from him to keep things level as we head in at half time. So it's quite a tense, slow opening first half despite two early goals. There weren't really too many chances to uh, to sh shout and scream about from either side. But uh, into the second half, I really stepped up. David Villa and Diego Costa linking up beautifully there. Diego Costa, I'm finding, works a lot better with a partner up top. So uh, I'm going to stick with this 4 4 2 uh, formation for now. Maybe switch to a 4 2 2 2. I've had the suggestion on Twitter and uh, I may actually give that a go. But but uh, Diego Costa really working very, very well with David Villa up top at the minute. And unfortunate there not to get himself off the mark in this La Liga season. And he's involved yet again. Ball comes in from uh, from Wanfran. It's cleared only as far as Diego Costa. Gets a good strike in it again. And oh, just goes past that far post. The goalkeeper was comfortable and uh, you know confident it was going to go wide. And then at the last minute, absolutely threw himself at it. He panicked. And unfortunately, it didn't sneak into the bottom corner. But Miranda, this time with the header, is off the line. We aren't able to get ourselves 2-1 in front. Out to Gabby, and again it's blocked from the edge of the box. And eventually, Sevilla are finally able to clear the ball away. But Diego Costa's breaking through again. He have a, an effort from about 20 yards. And unfortunately, again, not quite accurate enough with the finish. He's making the runs, creating the chances, which is good. That's the first part. Next to come is just the final finish. And I'm sure if we continue to stick with him, he will find the back of the net more often than not. But we make a couple of changes, freshen things up top and uh, out wide, bringing on... Uh, or in the middle, rather, bringing on Diego and uh, and David and. Adrian rather for David Villa and it's Adrian having the first shot here off the inside of the post hits the goalkeeper and doesn't quite find the back of the net really unfortunate there for Adrian coming off the bench trying to find a winner and he isn't able to do so and neither is anyone else we stay at 1-1 so we pick up a point away from home in our first fixture in La Liga which is a decent point away from home against the side of Sevilla's quality although considering the amount of chances we had second half it would have been nice to come away with all three points if we possibly could have but it's you can see Mario Suarez has been sold to Newcastle for £5.3 million. We've got some transfer budget now. We only had 80 grand left, but we've got £4 million now. So we're going to try and bring in Mateo Kovacic from Inter Milan. I've used him actually previously on Ultimate Team with uh, the Croatia squad builder for the World Cup series. And I really, really enjoyed using him. So uh, I'm going to give him a go, if I can, on career mode as well. You guys have been suggesting him left, right and centre. And he is very young at 19 and shows a lot of good prospects and uh, potential so hopefully we'll be able to bring him in we're throwing in a three million pound bid early on we'll see how that goes rejecting a bid for Gabby he's our starting centre mid right now even though he's 30 years old so he's going nowhere unfortunately the three million pound bid for Kovacic was rejected so we'll try four as you can see we uh, we may need to fiddle with the with the transfer budgets to uh, to try and get uh, more out of it if they reject the offer which they did as you can see so we have fiddled with the transfer budget I can offer up to 4.7 now so we'll have to wait and see whether Inter Milan feel that that offer 
is worthy of accepting and uh, letting us speak to Kovacic on contract terms. But before we hear back from that, we're into the second game of the La Liga season. We're at home for the first time against Raya Vallecano. Now, uh, of course, Vallecano aren't the strongest of teams. Strongest of teams. They're actually the third team in uh, in Madrid, but uh, it's. I guess it's kind of a derby of sorts, but uh, you know there's still a decent challenge, and I started a few rotation players in this one, but uh, you know still a very very strong opening side, and Adrian comes so close to getting us off to a great start there, fantastic uh, save from the goalkeeper at close range, and Koke finds himself on the edge of the box with the ball, and it's a heroic last ditch challenge from the defender to uh, to keep us out, and this was a phenomenal uh, stretch of play here. We're going to get a corner, whip it in, doesn't get uh, cleared properly, out to Gabby on the edge of the box, another shot blocked again not cleared properly into Koke step over cuts inside the defender a great shot blocked again out to Gabby on the edge of the box it's going to find David Villa good first touch good shot into the bottom corner and eventually we are able to find the back of the net after five shots in total from that passage of play really ridiculous but please in the, in the end to be able to uh, to get the breakthrough find ourselves 1-0 up it's a good finish actually from David Villa and his, uh, his goals could prove vital for the entirety of this season he is a very very experienced and a clinical striker so uh, hopefully he can uh, continue to do that for us but we're going to catch him on the breakaway here don't know where their uh, defence went from that corner catch him on the counter attack Adrian is in behind lovely ball through from Koke and he plays it straight at the goalkeeper I wanted him to find the corner there Diego Costa in the previous episode was putting them wide of the post rather than finding the corner and Adrian seems to be hitting them too straight at the goalkeeper as opposed to finding the corner. So, uh, really disappointing. And something else that's disappointing is the fact that Montoya's picked up an injury there. And it's not a small one either. It's a broken ankle. So, we're going to have to rotate him out for Wanfran. And, in fact, that's actually going to open the way for uh, for Manquillo, the, uh, the youth right back at the club, to get some first-team action. I know you guys in the comments have been calling for him to start and were a bit perplexed as to why I signed Montoya. But uh, Manquillo is definitely going to get some first team football now anyway because Montoya is going to be out for at least three months with that broken ankle. So he's going to have some uh, some work to do to get himself back into the starting eleven. But Toby Alderweireld has given away another penalty for handball. That's two in the past two episodes. And it's again his technique whilst going up for the header. Not too sure what to make of that. If that is going to become a problem for the rest of the season, then I'm going to have to look into replacing him. Uh, you know, not something I want to do because he's a good defender, but... It's really becoming an issue in these early stages, but thankfully Courtois is on hand to make a fantastic penalty save, and we stay at 1-0. We're not out yet for the first half. Right, it's going to get the ball into the back of the net. Adrian with a great finish, lunging at that from, uh, from close range, but unfortunately he's just marginally offside. Just can't quite hold his run well enough, and now Wanfram finds him, but he was minimally the wrong side of the line so we go in at half time with a 1-0 lead and uh, I was looking confident into uh, into the second half to try and stretch that lead if possible and uh, hopefully it put the tie to bed Arduturan breaks him side and uh, finds Marco Susieta with a great ball across the box the shot comes back across the box and unfortunately it's just so close to go into that bottom corner Susieta strikes it beautifully wonderful connection but unfortunately not quite the accuracy there yet again which is uh a rising concern. It seems to be more often than not the pattern of the shots that we're putting in. But uh, nice to see Afli, uh, you know, getting welcomed onto the pitch by uh, his uh, his new signing or by his current new teammates. Rather, he is the new signing. But uh, Diego, also the new signing, returning back to Atletico, does a lovely Maradona turn there to set David Villa away, and uh, he just can't quite cushion it enough. Gets decent loft on it, but too much power, and it doesn't dip in time to go into the back of the net. But we weren't done for the second half yet. Still trying to find that second goal and put the tie to bed if we possibly can. Diego this time going to have a shot himself and the goalkeeper makes yet another save. Victor Valdez in yesterday's episode made save after saving that second leg from similar type of shots and uh, their goalkeeper here uh Ruben is uh, making save after save again and another one and I'm really not sure what the defender was doing there maybe he was worried about handling it as it was coming at him at the chest Nacho but uh, nonetheless it goes out for a corner going to whip it again with Diego up goes Aldebarrel good header but can't quite find that far bottom corner so we're going to have to come back at them yet again. And that's exactly what we did. Adrian playing the ball down to Affleye on the left-hand side. Wonderful pace from him. Lovely step over inside. It's going to try and find the far post. But unfortunately, it's too central. And the goalkeeper it makes one of the easiest saves that he's had to make during that game, to be completely honest. But as you can tell, 89th minute, they're going to play the ball over the top. Counter-attacking me right at the death. We a good save from uh, Courtois there. <laughs> 
I don't know why Miranda has done that. I was telling him to go towards the ball and then holding left and hammering B to just clear the ball away. And it's not registered the me going towards the ball before, uh, you know, holding left on the stick. And you can see him. He just, he just sidesteps away from the ball, which opens up the opportunity in the space for the ball to get played across the front of goal. And unfortunately, that is going to absolutely kill me off. Not being able to find the back of the net for the second time. A span, uh, Spantastic, a fantastic performance from their goalkeeper Ruben. 14 saves he's had to make, or maybe not 14 saves because they made a lot of blocks as well, but 17 shots, 14 on target, and only the one goal. Fair play to Viacano for sticking at it, defending like absolute heroes, and uh, being able to snatch a point at the death. So, uh, we're putting the performances in, just not necessarily getting the results as of yet. And as you can see, the uh, the £4.7 million bid was again rejected. So we're going to have to try and loan Kovacic if at all possible. But this is how the league table stands at uh, the, uh, the early stages. Good things for us, good news is that uh, Real Madrid and Barcelona and Valencia, our main rivals for the, uh, for the title have dropped points as well in the opening games. They haven't won both, although Sociedad have. So... Uh, Good news and bad news in this opening uh, La Liga episode, but still uh, positive signs for the future performance-wise. It's just a case of finding the net on a more regular basis. But that's going to bring this episode to a close, guys. So please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. Like I say, if we can hit 150 again, that'd be absolutely amazing. And uh, if you aren't subscribed to the channel already and you want to see more of this and don't miss out on it, then feel free to hit that subscribe button. Uh, there will be a link on screen on the right-hand side. And actually, if you missed the video yesterday, the uh, the two-legged Spanish Super Cup final against Barcelona, there's annotation on the left hand side of the screen as well and of course feel free to follow me on twitter at chesnoy gaming to be fully involved in everything that goes on not only with this channel but with me as well but that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching we'll actually have the first episode of a or the pilot episode of a brand new player karimo coming to you tomorrow afternoon so uh, be ready for that in your sub boxes please show us some huge support but that's it for today guys i'll end it now before it gets too long so uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, i will see you next time